Friday, it's time to highlight people who go out of their way to do good. And today we are focusing on women giving each other a helping hand. Teresa Strasser has a few stories proving kindness wins. Teresa. Thank you. These stories are proof of the power that comes with looking out for one another. First up is an exercise club that helps women from around the country make friends all while staying active. I don't know about you guys, but for me, I feel like it's been way harder to meet new friends since the pandemic. That's why I created this walk club that's completely free in New York City for girls all ages. All you have to do is show up. Hundreds of women show up every week to be part of City Girls Who Walk, created by Brianna Cohen in March of this year. We chat, girls bring their dogs, and it's seriously such a good time. If this sounds interesting to you, then all you have to do is follow City Girls Who Walk on Instagram, and I hope to see you at my next walk. Bye, loves. Very cool. Up next is a Virginia-based nonprofit that works to break the stigma around menstruation and make feminine hygiene products more accessible to young girls. Why? aren't we doing anything differently? Why hasn't that changed? Why aren't we addressing it? There's a need, there's a huge need and people just, because you don't talk about it, it's not recognized. Laura Lowry founded No Shame Period last year and provides free care packages to hundreds of elementary and middle schools across the state, which even include encouragement cards. To let them know that somebody is thinking about them and wants them to have a great rest of their day. You can learn more or support their efforts at noshameperiod.org. Love this. And finally, a group of Florida high schoolers coming together to show love and support for a beloved custodian. She's always providing a dedication and love. She's here early morning, she's here late at night. Wanda Butler has worked at Newsom High School for 20 years. So when students learned that she'd fallen into difficult financial times after her husband was diagnosed with cancer, they got to work and began to collect money in school and around the community to help her and her family. The fact that I'm important here it, it just overwhelmed me and completely eye-opening because I honestly thought that the kids didn't know who I was. So amazing. And those are three stories where kindness always wins.